Welcome to another one of our shipping videos. Uh, if you don't know what the shipping video is all about, that's this time of the week where I get, all, get together all the guitars that we're shipping out this week and have a look at the different specifications and details and, uh, and tell you about where they're going in the world. Uh, this week it's uh, pretty much a full sweep for the USA except for one guitar that's going to, um, to the UK, going to England. And then we have some other guitars on the screen uh, that are stock guitars that have already shipped out. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to look through all the different colors and specs on them. And uh, as always, I'll maybe tell you a few other little bits of uh, information that's going on in the background. The one thing I want to say um, at the start of this is a big thank you to everybody that entered our Dream Guitar Competition last month. Uh, it was a huge success. I think at the end up we had 999 entries. Uh, crazy um, that it ended up exactly that number. Uh, one of them was mine, but I couldn't win. Um, the winner on that was uh, Lee O'Hara, and uh, I've been in communication with Lee. He's super excited about his guitar. I'm super excited about building it for him, and uh, we're maybe arranging some other special things around that. So we're going to be able to follow that build, and that's going to be exciting. So you're going to get to see that guitar come to life, and uh, hopefully get to see the delivery of that guitar directly to Lee. So we're going to do something cool with that. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about this week is... Uh, the, uh, the latest video that we've just brought out in our artist series. So we're doing a lot more collaborations with different artists and um, we have been working with Jerry O'Donnell, uh, one of Ireland's finest musicians and a multi-instrumentalist. Uh, he plays so many different instruments. So he has uh, just fallen in love with the Emerald brand and what we do and we did a really nice piece of content there recently with him just talking about the baritone that he uh, had and just why carbon fiber guitars are so good for him. Um, so uh, maybe we'll put a link in the description or something to it and uh, hopefully you can check that out or go to the Emerald Guitars YouTube channel and just look for uh, the Jer O'Donnell um, video and, uh, and you'll find that there so really really nice piece of content some just amazing tunes and we're going to have more we have more content that we filmed uh, with Jer and we'll be putting that out in the, in the coming weeks and months so if you're not already subscribed to the Emerald Guitars YouTube channel Make sure you subscribe and then you'll get to see that content when it comes out. Um, so, uh, also must say thanks to uh, Timothy Ford for uh, this t-shirt. Apparently this is uh, from his favorite guitar store. Uh, so thanks for that, Timothy. Uh, always nice to get a little surprise in the post. Um, so the first one we're going with today is John in Arizona. And, uh, and John has, has this beautiful amicus. And uh, if you happen to go and watch that Jer O'Donnell video, you'll see Jer performing on an amicus along with a full orchestra. And, uh, and that was really, really cool. Um, so this amicus is finished in our uh, vibrant weave uh, with transparent green. And uh, yeah, it's just a wonderful color combination. That with the, the gold tuners, green and gold, always works really, really well together. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful little 12 string. Then we've got John in California. John has gone for an X7 and uh, the X7 is our smallest guitar in our range. It's uh, kind of a powder sized guitar, shorter scale length, 24 inch scale, very comfortable to play and hold. The, little, the shorter scale just, uh, you know, sort of softens the tension a little bit on the neck, a little bit less tension and a little bit less stretches when your chord shapes. Um, I think the X7 is uh, is just it's a fantastic travel guitar, but every bit as good if you're just playing only at home because it's just a really nice, comfortable guitar to to sit and uh, and lounge and play with. Um, but we've been talking recently about the X7 in conjunction with the High Vibe and how it is really the the perfect travel companion. Um, you know, High Vibe gives you all these different uh, extra elements with a built-in tuner and the uh, the sound modulation that comes acoustically out of the top with the actuators. Um, so it, uh, it allows you really to have all these amplified sounds, but without plugging into an amp. Um, it's a, just a fantastic system. So if you are traveling and had this, then it just gives you so much creative opportunity uh, and just you know passes so much time. But then you can also plug it in and, and put it into an amp and, uh, and perform in a, a live setting as well. So it's just really versatile. Um, this one is finished with, uh, with some Koa. This is some of the latest batch of Koa that we got in, and uh, it's got that beautiful, deep uh, golden brown color. Um, really amazing depth in it. It's got uh, it's got that really nice flame, 
and um, yeah, so much contrast and color happening on that. The, uh, the inlay here is uh, the white vines with leaves. Uh, really nice combination. The, the white vines, I think, just really stand out on our fretboard against the black carbon and, uh, and the little gold uh, knot there at the, at the 12th fret. Uh, and then an amber back and sides. So, uh, yeah, I think that amber truly goes really well with that top. Uh, very, very similar color combination. So next one is going to Vic in Alabama. And uh, Vic has ordered one of our uh, Virtual guitars. And uh, Virtual finished in black carbon with black hardware and, uh, and silver dot inlays. And it's uh, a great, again, a really nice color combination. Just a straight, subtle black carbon, I think works so well uh, with the black hardware. So that's our Virtual that has the, the Fishmans, has the Piezos, and then the MIDI, and, uh, and all the onboard controls. So really great co crossover between acoustic and electric worlds. Then uh, Mark in Bracknell in, uh, in England, uh, an X20, same thing with the black carbon and uh, the beautiful contrasting carbon bridge finished with an LR bags element and uh, again with the black hardware. So we've been loving the, the Cosmo Black Goto 510 tuners for a long time. There's just something really nice about them, very classy look. It's um, kind of like a, almost like a black chrome. It's not a solid black color in it. So it's, it's just got that same kind of iridescence as you get out of carbon fiber. So this one's going out to Sherry in Pennsylvania and uh, another piece of that koa, very, very similar to, um, to the X7. Uh, this one's got the Trinity Nuts on the fretboard. And uh, again, a nice color combination with the gold on the gold uh, colored veneer and then black hardware and, uh, and that amber back and sides. Actually, I can use these two guitars just to let you see how those colors kind of work together. Um, so you can see that that amber with Koa just works really nicely. Then we've got Alexander in Kansas. So Alexander's gone for an X2012 string, uh, finished in blue carbon. So, uh, so this is our, um, our, our black carbon with the transparent blue, so it's that uh, darker color, um, but it has a, a beautiful depth to it. And the blue is really cool because it almost looks, in some lights, almost looks black, but then the light hits it and it just really pops. Um, so it's a subtle color, but still with an, an awful lot of depth and character to it. And, uh, you know, we, we talk a lot about our 12-string um, our guitars and just how carbon fiber is, is really the ultimate way to build a 12-string a guitar, just because of the stability. Um, and we've got another one going out to Melvin, Virginia, and uh, and this one is uh, it's got quilted maple on top, and it's a natural quilted maple. Um, very often we'll put a stain over the quilted maple, but this is just a pure natural finish, and uh, and looks terrific. Uh, you really get to see all that movement and holographic effect to its uh, to its fullest in its natural state like that. Um, and uh, it's got the gold inlay running up the neck, black hardware, and natural black carbon fiber. So really that's natural colors right the way through. And uh, I remember back quite a number of years ago, I did an acoustic bass uh, with this color combination, just the natural with the black. And it's, uh, so it stands out in my mind. And it's probably 12 years ago since I made that bass. Um, now we've got a pair of guitars that's going to Hawaii and uh, we were having some nice conversations with Michael back last year on the phone and um, he's uh, really excited to, to receive this. Michael, I wish I was actually delivering these in person. Um, Hawaii is one of those places I would definitely take an opportunity of, uh, of taking a flight to um, if I had a little bit more time, but you never know, it will happen someday. We'll come and we'll, we'll find you. Um, so the first of your two guitars is, is this X20 nylon and uh, we had talked about different specifications and colors and, and veneers and things for this um, and then at the end up uh, he's gone with the, the red carbon which is a beautiful choice and uh, a beautiful red color um, right across on the back and sides 
Uh, the pickup system on here is our adjustable bridge uh, with the six individual piezos. I think that works really nicely on a nylon guitar. And, uh, and then also inside here, we've got the cane case uh, that, uh, that just gives you a little bit more body to the sound as well if you're, if you're wanting that sort of thing as well. And the um, second guitar is uh, this X30 Koa. And check out this, what a wonderful instrument. So X30 with Hawaiian Koa with this beautiful crazy flame pattern that's going on here. Um, we've had a number of pieces of that that we've, uh, we've built into some really stunning guitars. Uh, it just looks like flames coming up here, these darker uh, patterns. And then with the red, burst right around it, um, just make it stand out even more. Um, custom inlay on the fretboard, and, uh, and then it's got the high vibe pickup system, and a black carbon back and sides. So I think that's a, a wonderful combination. And also, I almost forgot to mention it's fan fret, as you can see. Um, so that just gives it a, an added bit of character. Um, off the top of my head, I think this is a 20, 5 to 26 inch scale on here, uh, but I would need to double check the specs. And, uh, and fan fret's fantastic just to give you that little bit of extra tension on, um, on the bass side and, uh, and maybe a bit less tension on treble. So it just, it, there's various different reasons. Maybe we should do a video again talking about uh, the different benefits and features of, uh, of fan fret guitars. I did one quite a long time ago. It's probably hidden somewhere in our YouTube channel, but uh, maybe I should do that again. Um, last one on our custom rack today is going out to Darren in Georgia. And uh, this is a guitar that, uh, that Darren custom ordered uh, quite a while ago and took us a little bit of time just to get this one finished for him um, due to just some custom requirements and specs on it. Uh, so it's our standard four string bass, uh, but the main thing is a, an entirely modified headstock and uh, it's got the hip shot, um, uh, the, the D-tuners, um, which is a, a really cool concept. Uh, quite a challenge to, to make that fit on our headstock, uh, which meant we had to entirely rebuild that and, and modify it. But we got it there in the end, and uh, it's, it's a really cool bass. So uh, hopefully you'll, you'll really, really enjoy this bass, Darren. Um, and before anybody asks, uh, that's not something we're, we're going to be offering. Um, it was a one-off. It was ordered quite a long time ago before we uh, pulled back on some of our custom orders. Um, it, because of the amount of modification on the headstock and stuff, it's not really feasible to be doing that uh, ongoing. So, uh, so unfortunately, that's not something we can uh, we can offer to you. Um, then we're going to move to the guitars that went out of here in uh, uh, in the past week that were ordered on our website and already shipped out. So the first one is going out to or went out to Bruce in England, uh, an X10, uh, finishing green. Then we've got Rick in Canada and uh, he's gone for a virtual Royal Ebony and you can see why he went for that Royal Ebony, just a beautiful piece of, of Royal Ebony with so much detail in it. Uh, John in Maine, an X7, uh, finished in black carbon. Jack in Illinois, uh, virtual with uh, black carbon and black hardware. Then we've got uh, Peter in Canada, uh, virtual in Harbor Rica. Uh, with the uh, black carbon finish and uh, the beautiful inlays up the neck. Then Tom in Maryland, an X30 12 string, uh, finished in black carbon. Barry in Indiana has gone for a, an X7, also in the black carbon. Then we've got Jordan in Hawaii, uh, a red virtue, and uh, with the black hardware and the silver dots. And uh, we've got Dr. Steven, uh, also in Hawaii, another one Hawaii today. Um, green Virtual with gold hardware. And then we've got Peter in Florida, an X30, and uh, this finish in Powell Ferro uh, with an amber back and sides. Then Felix in Canada, uh, Virtual with uh, that amazing piece of uh, quilted maple and uh, finish in uh, vintage amber. And then the last one is going out to Corey and uh, an X20 finishing red carbon. So that's it for this week. Um, great selection of guitars. And uh, thanks to all our customers that have been 
enjoying our guitars and, and uh, you know, we, we send these out all around the world. And the one thing that I keep telling everybody here at work is always we have to remember that every guitar that we build is somebody's dream guitar. You know, and it's really nice to be able to do the shipping video and connect with you guys and, uh, and just talk about each individual and each individual guitar. You know, we're not just making guitars and shipping them off in containers. We're making individual guitars for individuals. And uh, for every one of you that has trusted us with uh, the job of building your dream guitar, thank you, it truly is a privilege. So thanks for watching this week and uh, I'll see you again next week.